This is one of multiple videos showing you iOS commands that can save you a lot of time and optimize the way that you work with the Cisco CLI. In this example, I've got three Cisco iOS V switches connected to one another, as well as two Cisco iOS V routers. So on switch one, a really useful command to know is show interfaces. And instead of selecting a individual interface, I'm gonna use the option trunk. This shows us which interfaces are trunking on the switch. In this example, gigabit 00 and gigabit 01 are trunking. They are configured to use dynamic desirable. So show run interface gigabit 00 shows us that switch port mode dynamic desirable has been configured on the switch. The default on the switch is auto, but I've configured the switch to use dynamic desirable. On switch two as an example, show interfaces trunk shows us something similar. At the moment, this interface is configured to use dynamic desirable, but we could say switch port mode dynamic auto. That's the default on the switch. So notice we don't see that command in the output here because it's a default but when we use the command show interfaces trunk, we can see that the mode is auto on gigabit 00. On switch one, again, both interfaces are using desirable. In this example, they've negotiated to use ISL as the trunking protocol, and both interfaces are trunking. So on this side, if we type switch port trunk encapsulation, dot one Q and then use the command show interfaces trunk again. Notice the encapsulation is edited at one Q. Refresh the output on switch one. Notice it's negotiated to use edited at one Q. So in this example, we are still using dynamic trunk protocol or DTP. Show interfaces trunk is a lot easier than using show interface gigabit zero zero switch port and having to look at the details on the individual switch port. And that's especially true when you have many interfaces on your switch. We can see the native VLAN, we can see the VLANs permitted on the trunk ports, we can see which are currently active and which VLANs are in the spanning tree forwarding state and not pruned. So interfaces trunk is a very useful command can save you a lot of time when working with switches. Another very useful command is switch port host. This optimizes a layer two port for a host connection. We're told that this command sets the port mode to access, enables spanning tree port fast mode, and disables channel grouping. You should only enable this on ports where you have end devices. Because spanning tree port fast is enabled, you should enter switch port host only on interfaces connected to a single host. So on switch one, show run interface gigabit zero two, only a default config exists on that interface. So show interface gigabit zero two switch port. Administrative mode is dynamic auto. Operational mode at the moment is static access. Trunking will be negotiated. So DTP is enabled on this interface. The port is currently in VLAN one. So interface gigabit zero two switch port. And let's use the option host. We told that the mode will be set to access, port fast will be enabled and channel group will be disabled. So show run interface gigabit zero two. Notice the additional commands added here. Show interface gigabit 02 switch port. Administrative mode is now static access and spanning tree port fast is enabled on this interface. So another useful command to set some defaults on 
and access port. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.